I make this save because I'm so tall. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Matthew Schnoes, the Gold Crease Guardian here. Want to thank you all for getting me to a thousand subscribers. Can't wait to build more in the future. Let's get to the video. All right, bone saws and polar bears once again in the sea league should be a good matchup. As we get going, I just want to say again, thank you so much for getting me to a thousand subscribers. So excited about this. We've been pushing for this milestone for a while. So it's great to finally get there. And I cannot wait to continue to get more and more subscribers and just build this community. It's a lot of fun. We are up one nothing already. One shot, one goal is not bad. Let's uh, let's see if we can go ahead and keep building on that because the bone saws have played us really tight the last couple of times out. So we want to make sure that we do not give them a chance to drag us into another shootout. Oh. All right, well, all right, back to square one. We're now tied at zero or one again. Puck comes through, good tip on the first shot. You can see right here, it just gets tipped down and off of my pad. Now I've got to scramble to make a second save. I felt like I pinched it, I didn't, made another one there. And then he finally is able to scoot it out around my leg and just beats my defense by getting his knee to the ice. It was this close to not being a goal against. We were right there. Um, I mean, he's a really good player, so. That is always going to hurt us when he gets some time in front. But, bounce right back, two goals, two shots. Love that. They were really upset about this one beforehand. I think it might have hit the padding over by the uh, penalty box, which admittedly is a whistle. Ref didn't blow it down for whatever reason, so we got the chance and we went down and scored. So two to one lead, one goal lead once again is always good to have. And um, it's gone again. We had it and we went, hey, don't push me like that. Unbelievable. So first of all, shot comes through. Don't control the first rebound really well. Get a little bit scrambly. Reaching, I'm able to stay forward on this, which is nice. It's the only reason I make this second save. Then I go to make the other one. Kind of grab his leg so I don't fall over. He gives me a little push on the head. That's not cool. I, like, if I know you and you're joking around, fine. But I don't know the guy, so I don't know what that was about. But you know what? Not thrilled with that one, not super upset. I got a little bit chasey on that scramble just because of how I ended up, you know, not controlling that first rebound. So two to two, I've faced a lot of shots already, but um, our offense has been good already. So we'll probably find a way to get another one, right? This, uh, this power play was not the best puck possession we've ever had. I got a lot of chance to work on my puck handling, but um, not really much else going for us there. I think that was the only shot in that stretch of the power play. And it was at the end of the period. So we're through one, two to two tie. I've made a lot of big saves already. I honestly feel like I'm playing very, very well. So that's good. Uh, my last game on the channel was also a pretty solid game and a bounce back effort after getting blown out by uh, Mitten Sports. So we're trying to continue that good play, that mental focus that I've been working on. And um, again, through the first period, so far so good. These nets were coming off all night long and I was having some trouble with them. Ooh, nice stop here, look at this. So we've talked about this guy before, really skilled player, he comes in two on one, but I know my defenseman has the backdoor guy. 
So I square up to him and make him shoot it and beat me. And because it's a bad angle, because I am as big as I am, I know that if I go down, I've got like something like 90 something percent of the net covered. So I uh, made the save look relatively simple. I love that kind of play. And it's something that I am trying to do a little bit more of. And you know what? It was working in this game, I'm trying to really feel my positioning as a, uh, as a just, you know, a way to make myself feel a little calmer in the net and quell some of those thoughts about, you know, pucks going in or save percentages or other things that I've struggled with mentally. So combining that with some other things that I've been kind of trying to do, it's working very, very well. Oh, nice move goes unappreciated there as the puck goes over the net. That's unfortunate. That would have been a really nice one to have. Especially, oh, post. Come on. Not getting tons of crazy scoring chances now all of a sudden, but we're getting chances, which is good, and that one comes off of kind of a nothing play. Of course it did. So, first things first, this puck is going to go behind the net, and you can see me get a stick on it. That's good. Not letting that puck get through my crease. Now it's a bouncing puck. He actually whacks and misses, and I'm trying to find it now because I don't see it. Spinning backhand kind of ducks in between my body and my arm. And I just, yeah, not super thrilled with the fact that I didn't get it, but I was trying to find a bouncing puck after what I thought was a shot, and it wasn't, and that was the end of a period. So now we're down three to two, going into the third. Let's see if we can tie this one up. Ooh, nice pass across. He was always in a position to pass this puck here. Guy on the back door is a shooter too. It just gets a little bit out in front of him. I get it with the skate blade. Net was off. Normally I would try and put the net on, to be honest. This is a really nice save too. This one kind of ducks down. I make this save because I'm so tall. I drop down, I didn't really see it at all until the last second. Drop down, throw my shoulder in the air and got a piece of it. Really, really nice stop. Um, Using my body effectively, like I talked about. That's a very, very important side of this that I'm trying to combine with other new thoughts that I'm working on. Not my best uh, stop and control, but good little backhand pass. Try and get this power play set up now. That one I probably, I wanted to go up the wall, but I saw the, ah, oh, good try. I saw the uh, ref there and didn't want to hit him, so I didn't go to rim it. I probably, in hindsight, still should have. It would have been fine there. We've got lots of zone time, lots of possession time. Oh, good breakaway save as they come down the other way. Right off the glove, didn't quite catch it clean, obviously, as it bounces away, but I will take that all day on the breakaway. A late chance for them. We've had this puck in their zone a lot of this third period, just not a lot of offensive opportunities. Oh my God. Lots of time there for him to walk out. That's an awkward one, especially when the posts are moving a lot. So I just tried to keep myself big and it was fine. This one again, you can see me trying to use my post and the net moves. At the end of the day, like, you, you do what you can. But I was trying to, like, that one did not hit me. I would claim it if it did. Good backhand pass there. But it didn't, so I was a little bit upset trying to get that puck moved out into the neutral zone for us because we're trying to generate whatever offense we can late in this game. And last 30 seconds of this game, goalie pulled. Let's see if we can find a way to tie this one up again because that's all we can do as this team. Oh, come on. Quick whistle there. Puck probably sitting out, but not going to get it. Oh, another good stop there. Jamming it. Uh, Jeff, the goalie at the other end, really solid in those situations. And this is an icing. So we're getting upset because this is an icing with two seconds left and they did not blow it down, so the game ended. Very, very frustrating way to end that game.
Like I said, that's a super frustrating way to end that game. We thought we had battled to a point where we were going to get a chance to win it. We were right there to tie the game at the end with about two or three seconds left. They did not blow the whistle on the icing, which we didn't, we couldn't understand why. Is what it is. We took the loss. I played pretty well in that one. Um, made a lot of really big saves. I think that I made saves that really kept us in it here, which is important. And I was doing the things mentally that I need to do to be better. I wasn't focusing on the shots on goal, the save percentages, the goal, like all of those things. I was just focusing on the next save. And over the last two videos, I've done a really good job of that. So I'm trying to continue that momentum, that work. It's hard work for me to be perfectly honest with you. So we're gonna keep trying to do that as we go on in the rest of now 2023 as we play these games this was the first calendar year game of 2023 actually so it's really really good to be feeling that way as we go into things and i'm hoping to continue that if you have not already please go up in the corner and check out my unboxing of my brand new pads we have them getting on the ice very soon cannot wait for those they're gonna they're so nice i love them cannot wait to show them to you on the ice go in depth on them later on. It's going to be a lot of fun. So that you don't miss all of that exciting content, please head down below, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading videos. Coming twice a week, most of the time still, which is awesome. Love to get this content out there. Finally hit a, subs a thousand subscribers again. Thank you for that. Really, really happy about that. Looking forward to building this community more. And while you're down there subscribing, Maybe leave a comment. Let me know what your goals for your, your life, your hockey, whatever it is in 2023. Let me know what your goals are down below. I'd love to hear them. For me, it's about getting that mind just a little bit better, a little bit stronger mindset every time I'm on the ice. So we're going to keep working for that, and I'll see everybody in the next video.